Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five reasons they don't like you. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, this video is based upon all the reasons of why they don't like you. All right. Now, once again, y'all, I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but they don't like you. You got some family members. They don't like you. Friends, they don't like you. People who you just met, they don't like you. And people who you ain't did nothing to, they don't like you. Yeah, I get it, y'all. You got to understand that. All right. So like I said, y'all, in this video, we're going to go ahead and get deep into each and every one of these reasons. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And don't forget, y'all, be sure to drop in the comments and say, I know you don't like me. Yes, sir. We got to go ahead and pinpoint the enemy, y'all. Let's go ahead and let them know. So with that being said, the first reason of why they don't like you is going to be the chosen ones, your smile, all right? Let me say a lot of for the chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, it's your smile, okay? Understand what I'm saying? Like, for some people, you know, they probably don't see the value in the smile. Some people, they probably do understand the value in the smile. But I have come to let you know and to declare this message over your life. Listen, y'all, your smile, it gets you into rooms that other people can't get in. Your smile is far more powerful than you probably ever thought of or dreamed of. Your smile changes lives. And your smile brings value to people's lives. I'm just being honest, y'all. And so what they hate about your smile is the attention that it brings you, the clarity that it gives you, right? They hate so many things about your smile. And the funny thing is, y'all, you're only being yourself. This is what God has blessed you with, right? You have a million dollar smile. Somebody drop in the comments and say million dollar smile. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say million dollar smile, all right? When you look in the mirror in the morning, that person who you are not afraid to look at, that smile that you see, all 32 teeth, y'all, white teeth, okay? I don't care if you got veneers. Listen, your smile, it's what differentiates you from everyone else. You have a million dollar smile. Think about successful people, y'all. Successful people, whether they're on TV, whether they are, you know, inside of corporations on the street, businesses, entities, whatever it is, y'all, wherever they are, successful people, what do they all have in common? Most successful people, they have a nice smile. And even, because I know somebody going to hit me with it in the comments, even if they naturally didn't have it, even if. When they go get those veneers, yeah. When they go to the dentist, mm-hmm. When they go get, most people get their grill fixed, y'all. And so that's, why? Because that smile makes them money. That smile gets them into rooms. That smile is valuable, all right? Listen, y'all, you got to look at it like this. I know a lot of y'all done seen this, so don't act like you haven't, all right? But Cinderella and her stepsisters, what was the differentiating factor between them. Cinderella smile. They had an ugly smile, y'all. And I'm not calling them ugly, okay? Because quite frankly, y'all, their spirit was the, that was the ugly factor between them two, honestly. It was their spirit, okay? And the intentions. However, Cinderella had a nice smile. She had a nice smile. Uh, even the prince guy, he had a nice smile. Okay, indicating they were successful, good people of God. All right, and understand what I'm saying, y'all. It's gonna shine through a person. I mean, it's just gonna simply shine through a person. But sticking to the script, Cinderella had a beautiful smile and her sisters did not. All right, uh, the Grinch, the Grinch, he got ugly teeth. The Grinch has a terrible smile, but the people of the holiday spirit, what do they have? Beautiful smiles for the most part. And no, I'm not a proponent of holidays. I was just using an example. But what I'm telling y'all is that people who are, you know, attracting success or accumulating success, more than likely, they're going to have a nice smile. Okay? That smile symbolizes God for the most part. Because the devil can come to you with a beautiful smile as well. But what I'm saying, y'all, is this right here. God's people, 
all right? They're, you're going to see them because they're going to have that glow. And that glow is going to show through their smile as well, all right? And that's what you have, all right? That's what you have. You have that glow. You have that light, okay? And you have a beautiful smile, male or female, a beautiful smile. And that's what they hate about you. They hate that, y'all. When you just smile and bright up the whole room. Yeah, when you smile and people just, I love your smile. I just love you. Oh, man, I, I just love your energy. Because that's the smile that you bring, okay? that That's the value that you bring through your smile. And it's all coming from God, y'all, all right? It's all coming from God. Understand that, y'all. People hate you, and they don't like you simply because of your smile. I know it may sound petty. I'm just a messenger, y'all. They don't like you because of your smile. Simple as that, all right? Uh, moving forward, y'all, the second reason of why they don't like you is going to be the chosen ones, your spirit, okay? Let me say it once again, louder for the chosen ones in the back. It's your spirit. That's what they don't like, y'all. Mm -hmm. They don't like your spirit. Now, let me speak about the spirit for a second, y'all. Let me speak about that. Your spirit is that thing that floats with inside you. Okay, this right here is your flesh. I'm not talking about that flesh because flesh turns back into what, y'all? Dust. It says that dust you came from, dust you shall return. All right? Dust you came from and dust you shall return to. So that means that that flesh, yeah, it's cool, but it's only a shell. What's your spirit talking about, though? And see, the eyes is the window to the soul, y'all. So that means that you can see what a person's spirit is by looking at their eyes, looking through their eyes. A lot of people don't got good spirits, y'all. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you the truth. A lot of people don't have good spirits. Mm -mm. You can tell by the things they watch. You can tell by the things they consume. You can tell by the things that they talk about. They conversation. Yeah, they conversation. You know, y'all, um, I had a situation, right, where I was at this recent event that I was at, y'all, uh, a networking event. And so in that networking event, uh, it was a person who I had already knew off of line, right? You know, when you start building up a following, when you start meeting people, you know, and just everywhere online. I've met people from out the country, out the state, different cities, all online, right? And so this particular person was my first time meeting them in person. And so uh, I seen them and I just walked up to them, right? I just walked up to them because that's me, y'all. I'm a real dude, right? If I rock with you, I rock with you. I'm a real person, right? I don't think I'm superior to nobody. Y'all know my slogan, y'all. I don't think I'm no better than the homeless man on the street. That's just me. But when I walked up to this individual, uh, I you know, shook their hand and I just felt the dryness, right? I just felt the dryness. I think the only thing uh, that this individual said was, congrats, bro. It was like, it was just that subtle. It was like, congrats, bro. And I guess it was about the success I've been having on social media, I guess. Okay, but uh, I was just so up in spirit. I was just like, hey, what's going on? And when I got that dry energy, I was like, ooh, let me get away from you. Uh, let me let me, let me get, let me go ahead and go this way. Okay, all right. Gotcha. All right. And so it's funny because the person that this, uh, that this individual was talking to, okay, um, that person came to me and was like, hey, what's up, man? I guess he noticed my spirit, my energy, you know, or whatever. He was like, what's up, man? What's your name? You know, hey, my name Reno, whatever, whatever. And then I kept pushing about my merry way because I just wanted to get away from that energy. I was like, this person is, this person ain't cool how I thought they was on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Um, the following day came, seeing the same person this time, I ain't going to give you, a, I ain't going to give you another chance to take a number two on me, Right? Oh, no, you don't get two chances now. Now, the first time, look, hey, I, I don't know, okay? Fool me once, you know what I'm saying? Shame on you. Now, you ain't going to fool me again. So, I seen this person, you know, and I was just kind of looking through my peripheral. You know what I'm saying? They walked by, and all they did was hit me with their head now, and I get what I did. All right, see, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it pushing. But I say all that to say this. I never met this person a day in my life. The only thing this person has seen of me was social media. And all I post is motivational and inspirational stuff. So I don't know why, why wouldn't they like me? I don't know. And the only thing I could come up with was, it's my spirit. 
Yeah, a person can see your spirit. They can see it from a mile away, right? I told y'all, some people just won't like you. It don't matter how kind you are. It don't matter how beautiful you are. It don't matter how handsome you are. It don't matter how positive you are. It don't matter what it is, y'all. Some people just won't like your spirit. Okay, why? Because your spirit irritates their demons. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, my spirit irritates their demons. Okay, and so that was a weird experience, y'all. Like, I've been through that multiple times, I, I will say. But again, it just kind of catch you off guard when you know you haven't did nothing to nobody. You're like, I ain't did nothing to you. I barely even know you. I'm just speaking to you because I seen you in person. I'm a real person. I'm a real dude. But once I seen that energy, I got on. The following day, I walked straight past. Like, I'm going to see if you're going to speak. I'm going to my. I'm gonna see, okay? Because, you know, I am a professional. That's how I move. Once I seen it was the, okay, cool. Bet. Keep it going, right? But but I say all that to say this, y'all. Um, Some people just won't like you because of your spirit, all right? And that that's just something that you have to kind of deal with, especially if you are in some type of industry. Basically, any industry is almost the same to me. Some is a bit more demonic. Some is a bit more conniving. But an industry is an industry. Why? Because you have products, you have services. Why? Because you have some good people, you have some bad people. Why? Because you have business, you have good business, you have bad business. I mean, you just have people. It's an industry. All right? However, y'all, however, your spirit is very strong. And so you don't want to undermine that. You got to realize it's going to be some people who come in your life. They just simply won't like you because of your spirit. Simple as that, y'all. It's really no rocket science. It ain't no other way that you can put it. It ain't none of that, y'all. Some people just won't like you and you got to deal with it. OK. And so I also have a scripture on this as well, y'all. Second Timothy uh, chapter one, verse seven. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let me say it once again, y'all. Louder. For the chosen ones in the back, y'all. It says right here in 2 Timothy verse uh, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Right on what does that mean? Again, y'all, you have a strong spirit. Your spirit is felt, okay? I'm not talking about that flesh. We all have flesh, y'all. We all got that. I'm talking about that spirit that's inside of you, that thing that floats inside of you, that thing that they see when they look in your eyes. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. You fear nothing. You fear nothing, okay? And not only that, y'all, but you have power and you have love and in a sound mind. And what people don't realize is love is power too. Love is power too because you can take a person who hates you and show them love and you can turn that into more love. That's how powerful it is. But see, if you take a person who hates you and you start hating them, and now you 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 bring a bigger fire to the table. All right. So understand that, y'all. Um, the next one, number three. Okay. Uh, courage. It's your courage, y'all. Let me say it once again, louder for the chosen ones in the back. It is your courage. Okay. Okay. So Rena, what does courage have to do with any of this? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. Most people are weak dependent and afraid so the news can play something on it right now and say the sky's gonna fall down and turn black in the middle of the day and people go ah and start running around and acting crazy right why because most people are weak they are dependent and they are de and they are afraid but you no 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 you have courage all right somebody drop that uh word in the comments and say courage you have courage, all right? Now, what does it mean to have courage? That means that you are not afraid to act on your dreams, your aspirations, okay? You are not afraid to act on things that bother you. You are not afraid of the things that life throw at you. Y'all, it says in the scripture, it says in the scripture, it says that uh, do not walk by fear. No man should walk by fear, right? But a lot of people don't exercise that. A lot of people don't exercise that. You know, some people, they just, they just afraid. They scared of their own shadow, right? They just scared. But with you, you have courage. You know, um, a lot of people won't have the courage that you have. A lot of people won't have the courage to leave their nine to fives. 
A lot of people won't have the courage to chase their dreams. A lot of people won't have the courage to try to build something. Start that podcast. Start that YouTube channel, right? You know, start that business. You know, build something big, all right? A lot of people don't have that courage to, you know, just jump off the ledge and try to fly, right? They don't have that courage. But here you are with this courage. Here you are talking about, man, I'm going to build my dream. Talking about, man, I'm about to do, I'm about to go do this and do that. And they sitting down at you. You better go sit down somewhere. That's how they looking at you. You better go sit down somewhere and be regular just like the rest of us. But see, I know I, I'm about to declare something over you. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm not regular. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm not regular. All right. And so, uh, yeah, y'all. It's your courage. That's the reason why they don't like you. That's the reason why. You know, he, he think he missed the big shot. Yeah, he, he think, she think that she missed big shot ever since she done went and got that degree. Yeah, we had told her not to do it. She went, who are you to not, who are you to go out here and go chase your dreams? Who are you to go out here and not be scared of life like we are? We scared. You should be scared with us too. Come on, huh? Come on. And so, you have to realize, y'all, this come from family, this come from friends, this come from even inside your relationship, this can come from anybody, y'all, any outlet, right? Any outlet outside of yourself. It can come from them. Why? Because you have something that they don't have, and that's your courage. That's your courage, all right? And so, we're going to move on to the next one, y'all, uh, which is number four, your ambition. Ooh, ambition. Listen, y'all, I'm going to say it once again, y'all, ambition, right? Um, ambition is the ability to just go out here and have that drive. A car ain't nothing without that engine. A car ain't nothing without that engine. You have an engine, okay? And that engine re represents your uh, ambition. Everybody don't have the ambition that you have. Everybody don't have, you know, that I'm going to get up and go. That self-motivation. Some people have to be motivated. You know, one thing about going to networking events and going to uh, seminars and going to, you know, places where it's a whole bunch of motivation, right? It's a whole bunch of people, you know, who telling you, you need to get out here and do this. You need to get out here and do that. You need to get, be the best version of yourself. A whole bunch of people, you know, out here telling you to do that. And it make you feel good, don't it? It just make you feel real good. You feel great. You feel like you can go out here and conquer the world. And you get motivated. You get motivated. And you get motivated. And you like, oh, what, what am I going to do? And then you lose that motivation. Why? Because you have no ambition. Why? Because you have no ambition. You have to have ambition. Right? That's like having a car without an engine. You got to have the engine so it can drive. But guess what? You got to have the transmission, okay? But guess what? I got the transmission, no engine. Or oh, I got the engine, no transmission. The car is not going to drive. What are you saying, Reno? You have to have the whole package in order to build something in life, right? And so all I want y'all to understand is, is they can't stand the fact that you have ambition. A lot of times, yeah, it's your jealous family members, your envious friends, okay? Because they are sitting here looking at you Build your life up, you know, keep chasing what you're chasing or attracting what you are attracting, okay? And you're doing the best that you can. You ain't taking no for an answer. A lot of times people take no for an answer. Yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. They take no for an answer. And then here you are, you saying, no, nah, mm -mm, I ain't taking no for an answer. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep striving. I ain't taking no for no answer. It's your ambition. That's what you have, Right? And a lot of times you're going to see it through family members, the closest people to you, mad because you have ambition. And so what you don't realize is they really admire what you do, but they hate the fact that it's not them. Ain't that weird, y'all? They admire it. Like, they really admire you. Okay? Understand something. They have the deepest admiration for you, but at some point that admiration turned into hateration. Right? I probably just made that word up. Y'all heard me say that before, but that admiration turned into hateration. And the reason why it turns into hateration is because they can't stand the fact that it's you doing what they want to do. They want to write a book, but they started and then stop. Or some people don't even start. 
Some people don't even start. Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna write a book. Yeah, okay, bet. Second day, two words. You know, uh, uh, the first week. Oh yeah, man. I, you know, I had to go to work. I had to had to work on that warehouse job, man. I had to go do this. Had to go do that. You know, I had to take time into the hospital, man. You know, my son's sick. I mean, just excuse after excuse after excuse. But here you are with that ambition. You got kids, still getting it done. Here you are, you got a family, still getting it done. You got the nine to five, and then come home from that nine to five and work your five to 12. You still getting it done. But they can't seem to get that, you know, they can't, seem, they can't seem to figure it out, right? Because they have a lack of ambition. That's a fact, y'all. Um, The next one, without going into a rant, uh, the last one as well, uh, number five, you have favor, all right? Let me say it louder for the chosen ones in the back. It's your favor, y'all. And, you know, I speak about favor a lot. You know, I always talk about it, but favor is real. Favor is real, y'all. This is not, you know, some imaginary word. Um, oh, I got favor. Uh, I'm favored. No, literally, you are Highly favored and blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. Somebody drop in the comments and say highly favored. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say highly favored, right? And so all I want y'all to realize is when it comes to your favor, people are going to be able to see it for, from a mile away, right? Favor. Favor. They can see it from a mile away, y'all. Noah had favor. You know, um, uh, Moses had favor. Joseph. I, you know, I love Joseph's story because he had a lot of favor, right? Even though they sold him into captivity, put him inside of a pit, right? He was at the right pit at the right time. Uh, when he got sold into slavery, he still had favor when he went there. He became, you know, a shepherd over uh, Potiphar's most prized possessions, right? He was well trusted there. Even in prison, he had favor. Right. So when you have favor, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter how far you are out. It doesn't matter how close you are in. You're going to always have that favor. And that's what they can't stand. Right. They trying to figure out why every time they almost about to fail, they somehow just get up. That's my favor. Yeah. I was homeless, y'all. I, I had a repossession, y'all. But guess what? I had favor. So it didn't matter what a person wanted from me. I had favor. It didn't matter, you know, the fact that they wanted to see me down a little longer. I had favor. And it'd be the closest people to you. But guess what? Favor. Favor is powerful. Favor ain't fair. Favor come from God. And so the message out of this whole thing, y'all, is realize that a lot of people won't like you, but it, it's the attributes that God has given you and it's shining through you. And that's why they don't like you, y'all. So a quick recap, y'all. Um, it's going to be this, okay? Five reasons they don't like you. Number one, your smile. Number two, your spirit. Number three, your courage. Number four, your ambition. And number five, your faith. Okay, and so with that being said, y'all, y'all already know how we do. Y'all make sure y'all check out any one of the links in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self Publishing, a successful book, Rich Mentality, Fairly Unequal, as well as Traumatized by Love. Also, be sure to check out any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. And don't forget, family, be sure to enroll into my social influence course where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self-published author. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay, where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? If you want to leverage your expertise, okay, you got to publish your book. But not only that, if you want to get popping and build your community, you got to build up your social media platform. And so I put that all in one course, okay? And so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio, all right? And drop in the comments, social influence. If you want to build up your social influence, click that link in the bio and we're going to get you popping. Keep a rich mentality.